Alrighty, welcome back. Come on over and look at the firewall. Uh, this, this is Aiden's firewall. We massaged it a little bit when we got it out. We dollied it a little bit. We sanded it with a flapper wheel a little bit. We straightened the lines out on it, and I think it looks awesome. I think he did a good job for the very first time. Um, he was nerviouser than a grasshopper in a chicken house. Weren't you, weren't you Aiden? Yeah. Uh, you're like a grasshopper in a chicken house. He was nervous. There was lots of people watching for his very first time, and uh, he pulled it off again. He pulled it off again. But what, what I'm thinking is, I have kind of stepped forward a little quick on that because I haven't even got an engine in it yet. I got thinking like, wow, what if I have to cut the firewall, we've made a piece and uh, put some time in on it and I don't even know I'm gonna cut it yet. Yes, it's in there and I can still cut it when I put the engine in, but I'm, as Aiden's jacking on the engine right now, um, we're gonna put an engine in it and see if it fits. And the reason I'm gonna put the engine in it is because there's two mounts welded on the frame already. I don't know if I've ever showed them before, but there's two mounts that someone has welded on that frame. And they did, it's, it's pretty rugged, you know? Th that's not going anywhere as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the two mounts right here, I think, are for the flathead that come off the water pumps is what I'm thinking. But that mount right there makes me awful suspicious that it's a 350 mount or a 305 mount or small block Chevy mount because I have one right here. We, we finally got our order. This is the mount that I talk about. Um, got the pipe going across, got your two, two motor mounts and your two motor mounts that go on your, block, on, your, on your block. I have taken a measurement from there, from the eyes of the holes, and what I'm seeing that it is, it's basically the same. Um, so what, what has, that's good enough, Aiden, for now? Good. That's good enough, lots good enough. We're gonna pull this engine across here, and we're gonna try to put it in there and see if that engine fits them mounts. And if that engine fits them mounts, then I know, I'll know what I have to do to the firewall. Basically, that's about it. And if that engine does fit them motor mounts, we know what it's getting. <laughs> it's getting a small block Chevy. Okay, we have two mounts on the side of the engine right here. Yeah, we're gonna pull that over closer to the truck. Oh, we should pull it over that high. We have two mounts on the engine right here, and we're gonna put them on. We might as well put them on right here. There's one right here, Aiden. I'm gonna give you one. Got my finger caught in it already, see that? Come here. You wanna go over to the bolt then? Get three bolts and try to bolt that up to that, right there. Three okay. bolts, bolt that there like that. And then we're gonna to try to put the engine in. Go ahead. I think there'll be them gold ones that we used on the chain to hold the motor up. Okay, same one. Same size probably, the gold ones. That's what I'm thinking. So basically this is what we're going for. We're gonna to try to put that engine in that truck today. That set it down in there and see if those mounts are small block Chevy. We're gonna wheel her over here a little bit. This, uh, doing this motor stuff is not my favorite. No, it's not. No, it's not. I don't wanna roll that over, I know that. Here, Aiden, come hold the back of this bad boy. Just step your foot on the back of this thing here and hold it, sort of, just make sure it don't go anywhere. That's all, I'm just gonna pull it over. All right, just pull, can we pull? Um, let's jack it up just a little bit okay. more. Just a second, I get her there now. Just got my hand on it, if it falls, I can push it away. That's all I'm hoping for. Alrighty. Let's put the motor mounts on it. There's one. You got the bolts? Did you get the bolts? Yep. John. Okay. Just check them out and see if they're the right. I'm gonna do something for a second. We'll put a little penetrant on that first, just so maybe they go in easier. I'm not sure. Okay. We'll give a little, put a little crown on it. I like to spray all nuts and bolts with a little bit of penetrant when you're going in and out. It makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes. Sometimes. All, all the time. That's good enough. Yeah. Are they going to fit the thread? Gonna fit the thread? Too big? Too small? Nope, they're good. 
They're good. Yep. Okay. Go. I'm hoping they're not too long. So just get them started. And uh, I don't know where I put that ratchet at. Did I put it back? Probably. Not sure. Yeah, so everything turned out great on the firewall. It's just I'm thinking that I might have been a little premature. But we did not have the hood off to find out either. So let's, you know, we didn't have that off. We just got that off. So here we are. We've had some people in already this morning from Ontario. Very nice people. Very nice people. Where did I put the ratchet at? That's bad when we start something. I hide the tools. They going in okay? Yeah. You need a ratchet? A little bit. I had it. Yes, I did. I took it from the man and I put it back. I thought I did. Why? And it's funny, I had both of the sockets that we needed, 9 sixteenths. This will work, probably. These work? I don't know. Bigger than that, it's 5 eighths. No, they're 9 sixteenths because we already used it. Did we not? We yeah. did. The two nine sixteen. Yeah, I wonder where I put them. No, not in my pocket. I thought I put them back, but I guess I did not. There's one. I got one right there. Got him. I found one. I don't know where I put the other ones, but I found one. There you go. Let's, let's get them on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Do you have three more bolts for the other side? Uh, not yet. Okay, I'll get them. I got nothing to do. So basically, we're going to put this small block in. If the small block works, that's what we're going with. I'm hoping that the firewall works. Hoping the firewall works. I might want to back that up a little bit instead of we're hitting the truck there, I see. But yeah. that, that, that's not going to hurt any. That's not going to hurt any. They're a bit too long. A bit too long? Yeah. Well, you know what? They'll still, it'll still set there. It'll still set there if it fits. Right. If they're, you know, it, it'll still set there if it fits. All we want to know is if the, the mount's down there. All we want to know is if, if the mounts are 350 or not. Or small block Chevy is what I'm trying to say. I do not mind putting a small block Chevy in it because you can drive anywhere in the world and get a part. Anywhere in the world, I would say. Get a part for a small block Chevy. Also, the work has been done to put them in there. And if the engine fits and I don't have to tear the firewall out, it's a bonus. And if I have to do something to the firewall, that's what we'll do. Also, when we build this piece here, when they put the front there and we have the piece coming out, you're not even going to see the bead roll that um, you have done an amazing job on. I'm going to try to pull this back a little bit. You want to hold the engine from the car? Yep. Just so it don't shake and go back. See the, see the bump I'm on right here? Yeah. And wheels probably don't want to come over. Ah. Ah. There we go. That's why I tried. didn't want to do it the first time. There we go. Now we're happy. You want to? Scroll them in with your ratchet. Yeah. I think they're all lined up. Just be ready at all times if anything ever happened there to push that engine away or get away from it. Right. You know, it's a heavy piece of equipment that probably has no forgiveness. It would not say sorry. No, it wouldn't. So basically, that's what we're doing. We've got to get the engine in this bad boy. I think I might have went a little quick on the firewall, but that's okay. We'll see what happens. We'll probably end up putting a small block in it with a five speed. 
We have a we have a transmission that we went to. Yarm, I think, I think it was. We bought one for three hundred dollars. We have a spy five-speed transmission. That's what we put on it. I think that a small block and a five-speed would be lots for this. Um, a flathead would be okay, but a, we'll do a small block if them are the mounts that it works with. You know, I was thinking it probably was Ford, seeing where it's a Mercury, but if they've got it geared up for a Chevy, that's where we're going. We have a Ford engine. We just bought a 351 Windsor. Did we know? 351 Windsor. So we do have that engine. And we bought it because it was reasonable and the people were good. That's good, eh? All righty. We have our small block. Let's get Aiden to knock her up in the air a little bit more. We all know that I'm not so good at letting this thing down, but I'm going to do it, try it again. And the reason being is I don't quit, right? There's no sense of quitting. We're building something. Aiden, is this your first time putting an engine in? Yeah, first. In the rain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the rain, boys. He's in the rain. I got him outdoors. Get in so, the shower. Soaking him down. I'm going to, you get her up here a little bit. What I want you to look for, see if we can get over top of that. And then when we can, we're, we're done going up. All right, just, we'll slow up here, okay? Yeah. Let's just, can you, can you push in, push in, stand, I want you to stand on the back of that thing too, as you push in a little bit. Let's push her in a little bit. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep. I know that's scary stuff. Just one second. Yeah. I'm just going to pull the legs maybe over. Just keep my hand on the engine so if it ever come down, I can push away. All right, let's try to just keep going in. You gonna go over the bump, ready? Yep. Okay. You won't hit the bump on that now. There we go. Alrighty, now, let's just take it easy. That engine's up there quite a ways. Yeah. Um, what's going on is, is the, the car is too low. All right, we got the, you, I want you to stay, stay back there, okay? You just stay on the, stay, keep your foot on that and yeah. just stay there. I'm just gonna pull this over just a little bit. All right. All right, what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna have to get a jack and jack the front of the car up, get it off the wheels, and then we're gonna have to try to shove that in. Wow. Yeah, Alrighty. got a jack. No sense, no. And if the, if the mounts are already made, I will not use that one over there that we have, I'll use what they have. Um, it looks it looks good enough. Let's see if we can get that car up there. Let's see what's going on, Aiden. Got a lot of noise coming out of the front end, eh? Mm -hmm. Look at putting the engine in, we're jacking her up. Alright, we'll come in a little further, Aiden. Okay. That's as far as you can go? Yep. Okay. We'll get up a little higher. Alright. I think in that we need to jack. Jack the engine up. No, we can push it in. Push it in. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right. I hate to say it, but I'm going to lower this thing down, and I want you to come steady it. Okay. You want to come steady the engine? Okay. Going a little further. Ugh. I hate this. Do you want to get on the side or anything? You want to change your positioning or anything? No. Okay. All right. I want to show you something. Okay. See what we're aiming for? See this thing right here? Yep. That's going to go down top of that that uh, rusty thing. On that side? 
Nope, this sits right down over top. Oh, okay. See, it yeah. just it comes right up in the middle of it. It's got to go just back. like that, eh? Yeah. So we got a long ways to go. But we'll get it down closer, and then then we'll do more adjusting. Okay. Yeah. You can get on the side there if you like. We'll give him a stool. I'm a short fella. There's worse things to be, Aiden. There's worse things to be. I think you're doing fine. All right, we're going down again. Way down inside the truck. Then we'll get to see what the engine looks like inside of it. How far we're down, what it's going to be like to work on it, that sort of stuff. Getting close, Aiden? Not even? Mm, got a ways to go. Still. Foot? Two feet? Uh, a foot. Well, that's good. He knows what a foot is. You know what I think? Uh. Subway. Foot long. <laughs> Getting close. I'm going to stop it for a second. Yeah. Come have a look. Okay. You're going to have to turn that engine. You realize that, eh? Yeah. This is when you're going to have to get rough and tough and uh, tell me what to do. Do you... I'm going to push it in a little bit further. It needs to go in further, does it not? Yep. Okay. Good? Uh, For now? Same thing again. A little bit. Keep going. That's it. I heard something. So that's... Okay, let's, 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 let's just let the engine down. I'm going to watch from down here. Bye. Right. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jolene. Okay, Aiden. We just need to get it back. Get a hold of just, we just just like that. Can just you like do that? that? Yep. Just turn her a little. Okay, buddy. You're awesome. Awesome. And you want to let yours down over if you can. Okay. Now, I'm thinking that I'm going to get a pin. Ba -ba -ba, da -da -da. We'll put this in just to line her up for the side. All right, Ed, can you push down on that side? Push down. There you go. I th I'm thinking we found our cracker. And what I mean by cracker is, uh, get in there. Maybe I'll have to let it down a little bit more, just a minute. Get another bolt near side. That's what it's mount. That's what the mounts are. Small block Chevy. And I'm gonna just put a bolt in it just for Aiden to come take a look, and it won't take off, just so he knows. There's, there's two people playing at this game right now. It's called me and Aiden, and Jolene. We all need to know. What's going on? Isn't that right, Aiden? Come on over. Come out front. You're all good. It won't take off. <clears throat> uh, we are. I'm going to let it down just a little bit more. All right. She's she's a uh, she's mounted up for a small block Chevy. That's what this. That's what those mounts are for. They're for a small block Chevy. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking and seeing what has to be done. The engine is kind of laying forward like this. If you got to take a look at it, baby, it's got to be laid back more. And you know why they lay the back? Like, generally, if you have an engine in it, you want to put it in level. You know what I mean? If you had a little level like this, we could level it up on uh, whatever. So we try to plumb that level. And then we just let it down just a little bit more. And the reason being is if you look at the oil pan on this engine, Aiden, look at the oil pan on this, on this side. I don't know if you can see it or not. See how it's, it's long? Well, on the back side, on the back side of the oil pan, it's, it's deeper than the front of the old pan. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the old pan. You see the old pan right here? One point two right here? Oh, yeah. That's the old pan. It's bigger in the back than in the front. So if we tilt it back a little bit, that just means the oil runs down the back of the engine, moves back in the old pan. 
you wouldn't want to run to the front. There's nothing, you know, nothing. sort of, well, I guess that's what it's for. That's what I'm thinking what it's for. So we'll let it down a little bit. Now we're on the firewall. I just passed over it. And we need to come down a little further, do we not? Yeah, it's still. Okay. Come down a little further. It's oh. close. Wow, that went some fast. Like dead even now. Is it dead even? Yeah. <clears throat> just. Alrighty. The motor mats on the firewall. Is it hit, what's hitting the firewall? The motor mounts. Well, we head up to or the, the mount for the, pit, yeah. the hoist? Yeah. Okay. We don't want to do that. We don't want to dent that, do we? Nope. I'm going to jack it back up. Okay, just a bit. Um, off now? Yeah, that's good. Okay. There's what we have. We don't want to hit that right there. We have a distributor on back there. has that place. We have... The engine, it looks like it's good though. It's not hitting the distributor. No, it's not. Uh, the edge of the transmission would be just below that. You'd never see that. Just checking it out, people. Just making sure, looking for everything. Uh, hmm. Yep. I'm going to say that small block Chevy is what it's going to be. First thing this morning, we got the engine in there already. There's a couple plugins I see there I don't like for that. That would, I don't know if that would hurt anything. I don't know how the plugins match up on that. If they. The firewall is going to have to have a little nib out of it. See right here? See right this part right here? See on the top right here where I got my finger? Yeah. Okay, that's where the transmission bolts up to that engine. Okay, so we're going to have to get a little notch out of it, but that's fine because that transmission tunnel comes out from the inside. We can see that and trim that up, and no problem whatsoever. I'm going to say that the firewall is okay. It is okay. I don't know. It is okay. Now, the distributor's not hitting. I don't know how them plugs go in there. I'm just hoping that you could still plug that in. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you can. If we had to put a little dimple there, we could, no problem whatsoever. But the valve pan covers are not hitting, the back of the block's not hitting, uh, everything's okay. The mounts are for 350. I like that the mounts are back further behind the wheels. I like that the engine's back a little bit more. When the engine's ahead on, right on directly on the front of the wheels, it's a little harder steering. When, there's wheel, when the engine's back behind the wheels, it's a little easier steering. But we're okay with everything. I, we're gonna have to make a transmission tunnel, that's for sure. That's no problem, because we haven't done any work there yet. Wow, there's the answer to the engine, I guess, is a small block Chevy. That's what it's getting. Small block Chevy, six pack, five speed. That's what it's getting. Uh, and that's what I have, and that's why, and the mounts are there, everything's ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna pull this back up. We're gonna take it back out. No, it's not gonna be the exact engine. You wanna come see the engine? We'll come in and see the engine. I had it set in there for a while. Um, I'm going to use it. I'm, you know, we'll check it all over before we do use it. We'll do the compression test and do all that sort of stuff. But this is the engine that we'll probably use. It's a 305. I paid $150 for it. Um, he said it was a good engine. Um, I believe him. Uh, it looks like it was rebuilt at one time because it has the new. Uh, new bolts in the heads and all that sort of stuff and all we have is some chrome Chevrolet ca covers that we've acquired on marketplace uh, a six-pack that we acquired on marketplace we got it very reasonable we'll dress it so it looks the air with the manifolds and the, the that uh, there's the five speed that we'll put in it it's the long tail shafts we'll have it way out back so we can get it up inside the truck hopefully that'll give us a nice shift and I think every big truck deserves a big shifter do they not but that is probably the engine right there that we'll use so it's three hundred dollars and hundred and fifty dollars and some dress up why not I think I think it would take you anywhere in the world to be honest with you put some new oil in it uh, 
use it right, and be happy. I'm going to jack that up. I just want to make sure that the engine doesn't go back and back towards the towards the firewall. That's all. That's all I want to make sure. Are we hooked on anything? Yep. Okay, that's that's on the firewall. Okay, so I'm going to have to. A second, I'm going to take. It's on the firewall already. Yep. I'll take this out. So I'm going to have to let that down a little bit is what you're telling me? Just a tiny bit, yep, and then pull it back. Can I just pull it back? Yeah, you can pull it back now. Can I jack it? Or would have to get up off that mount? It's still, it's, um, yeah. Let it down? Just watch, get your hand out of there. I'll let it down for a little bit. Get okay. your hand, no, I don't want your hand in between there. Okay. I don't Good. want your hand in there. Not at all. Oh, right. No. Okay. I can give you some new fingers. <laughs> They're called flat ones. <laughs> you know, coming up on me already, is it? Yeah. Can we can we lift up on the front here? Can maybe hold down on the back. Okay. When I, is it hitting again? It's just catching. Okay, I know what you got to do. You have to, or I'll do it actually. I'm gonna get a little pry bar. The flywheel. Is catching on our. Where'd have that? The flywheel is catching on our firewall, and the reason being is it's not attached. You stick this in there, Naden. There you go. Look that. Hold that like that. Stand up there. It's away from it, is it not? Yep. Ooh, we got it. Yeah. We're going good now? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll just come up a little higher. Awesome. We are, what can I say? We have, today, <laughs> we have got the motor mounts made. <laughs> They're already there. Um, we now, now we've decided what engine we're using. Um, a lot of things are figured out. That's good. Um, I, I really enjoy that part because we do not have to um, put the engine in, try to fabricate, Put the body back on. We can do it all. We can do it all with it right there. I'm kind of wondering if I should have just left the engine in there. And then we can cut the tunnel for the firewall. On the other side. Yeah. Because we would know where it's at. Also. Hmm. No, I'm fine with that. What happens is when we take the body off, then we'll know. No, we won't know when we take the body off. We have to know when we have it on there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm thinking that I should have marked it, left it in there to be honest. You know what I mean? I should have marked it so I know. I should have marked it so I don't have to take and do it again. Uh, let's put that engine back in there. What am I doing? Damn it. It's all right. We'll put it back in. And the reason being is, I think we need, we'll leave it in there and do the work. Stupid for me to take it out. Especially when it's right there. Sometimes you go backwards, people. Sometimes you go backwards. It just matter how fast you gather up and go forward. Can okay. you push it over? Which way do you want it? Towards that way? There you go. Uh, I think I'll put the, the mount, these back in. Can you push down? I'm going to shove that right through. Let's, do, let's get light it down just a little bit. I want to get that. Can you oh, push yeah. down a little bit? Or what have to do? Like up, down? Just uh, this. It's like bent out, so it's just touching it. It's at the wrong angle, that's all. Wrong angle? Like the the mounts for it? Yeah. I can see the pin. It's just not wanting to go through. Okay. We'll get another one on the other side. Get that one through. That one's not being so nice. I threw that bolt back in. Uh, uh, uh. Just would like it longer so it goes all the way through. What we'll do is we'll stick something on the back of the engine to hold the back of the engine up, and then we'll keep it there, and we'll do all our all our gear with it. I'm wondering. 
with the big bolts that I had through it the first time work. Where than that? Right here. I know. They're a little tight, but they're right. Nope. Won't go through the hole that they drilled. It will not go through the hole they drilled. Get my head in here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. There's one. I'm going to let it down just a little bit, Aiden. Just, I'm just letting, just let me know if I'm hitting anywhere. Is okay, bye. All right. Get that through yet? Which way? Ah. Maybe a small bolt. Instead of being so long, it could bend it. You ever put an engine before? All right. It usually don't go that easy. <laughs> it usually don't go that easy, but you know, you know what's got basically what's going on. Um, these are the mounts you got to look for when you're putting them in and out. Got her that time? Yep. -er. All righty. I'm gonna let. No. What I'm gonna do is, we need something across the back of it to hold it up. All right, you know what I mean by that? Let's take a look down the back of the motor. There has to be, I've got to have something there to hold the, the back of the motor up. Um, dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I don't know. If we want to leave it in there. Hmm. Block of wood? Yeah. Um, We gotta sort of keep the motor from hitting the firewall. If we let it go down and hit the firewall, it'll be hanging in there and it'll be hard on the mounts and then then it'll cause a eh, we won't like it. How's that? Right. I'm gonna let it down just a little further because it has to be let down a little further. Just tell me when it hits the firewall, that's all. Okay. Okay. That pretty good? Yeah, that's oh. pretty close. Okay, we'll go with that for now because I've seen it come down. Thank you for letting me. A little seedy poo. You can see the little bit that we're going to have to cut out. That's not bad. That's not bad. And it's really not down in there that far once you put a breather on. It's not bad, actually. Really good. But we need to find a way to hold that up. We got a round bar over here. Bye. And yesterday, when we, when we did the bead rolling, we put the little piece of pipe in there all the way along, make it straight, and we just tapped it along, tried to straighten out the line, the bead line, sanded a little bit. It, it did wonders. Didn't it, Aiden? All right, Aiden. If I put that across there, what if we took and got the welder and welded that across there? Yeah. Just stuck it there and welded it to the chassis. And then we just put it across the oil pan in the back. We just stick that up in there and come over with it. All right, let's get the one of the welders going. And what we're going to do is we're just going to tack this to one side of the chassis, tack this side of the chassis, just put it underneath the oil pan, and just let it sit there. That's basically all we're going to do. Um, it's no big science, um, but it has to be welded fairly decent, and uh, it's going to hold the motor up. So if it breaks while we're doing something, the engine would flop back and hit the firewall and do all kinds of floppy chicken things. And uh, we don't want that. I'm going to get my glasses on. I'm going to clean up a couple ends of this so we can get a grind. Let me get a, I got to clean up a couple spots. But you're, but you're more than welcome to get the grinder or the welder turned up okay. and get her until you've ate it. And uh, make sure you get your goggles and your, and your, and your gear. I get something down here. I got to grind off the frame there to get it flap a wheeled off to make it clean so we can weld it fairly decent. It means something. Gas is on. You can adjust the, the thing when you pull the trigger if you want to adjust your air. Your, if you want to adjust how much pressure you're getting. Watch when I pull the trigger.
If you turn the right one, my pull trigger, what is it? 10. There you go. Yeah, I don't know if you want to cut that off or not. I'm just going to get down here and clean this up. Um, we have, yeah, you're fine. I'm going to get down here. I'm right up. Frame seems nice. Cleaned off nice. All right, Aiden, you're, it's your time to shine. All right. <laughs> Need a hel your helmet? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll go with your helmet. We got some new Lincoln stuff, but we're not breaking it out yet. We're going to, but we haven't yet. We want to thank Lincoln for their kindness, that's for sure. Thank you, Lincoln, very much. Your kindness is much the appreciated. All right, Aiden. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you can weld that bar. Yeah. See that bar going in there? I want you to weld, weld that to the frame. Okay. Where do you think I should put the ground? Uh, da -da -da -da. The ground. Put it. Can you put it right beside it? There's a magnet there. You want to put it on the car. Uh, Remember that magnet? There's a magnet in the... Don't know if that'll ground us or not. Probably it might. It might not. I'm not quite sure. I think it's well, or not. No, there's a... Yeah, that thing right there. You can that put one. that on the car and then stick your ground on that. All right. You can slow. See what happens. It should be on a clean place though, on the side, like that door part, maybe. What? What do you think? There? Yeah. Yeah, I tried it on painted areas. It does not work. So you have to get. You still have to be on a clean area to get it. So. I want you to weld that. Yeah. We've got the jack underneath of it. It can't come down because it's got the, the legs of the hoist underneath of it. It would only come down that far, so we should be fine. And you're wanting to weld that. You see where to weld it to you? Yeah. That'll be a hard one. Uh, I'll get there. Right here? Yep. That's the spot I want, man. All right. Ha <laughs> That'll be a hard one. You're going to have to head the other way. Well, you do what you, you got to do, bro. That's the part of what, that's the part of holding the car. You get in the, are you laying on your rod or on your wire and everything? You okay? I'm good. Man, looks good so far. Give her. Uh, no ground? Didn't seem like it. No, we're gonna have to hook it to the chassis. Maybe bring your, maybe, maybe just hook it right to the pipe here. I got a little bit cleaned off of the chassis where it's clean beside it maybe. Right there? Yeah, maybe right on the pipe itself, maybe. Or on the chassis, or whatever you can get. Alright, we'll try there. Yeah, go for it. It's gonna stay. And the reason we're doing this is because we don't want the engine to fall against the firewall. Right. No scrambling. Take your time. Get it sorted. <laughs> Got you in and off. No, no, turn your hand, turn your handle around, go the other way with it. There you go. There, that less less bending on your water. There you, there you go. Get in the spot. Clicker, see if you get any ground. Okay. Yep. Alright. Nail her. Like, weld her on. If you, have, if you have to stop and spot it again and stop and spot it again, go for it. If it works better, you know. I find sometimes it works better when you stop and spot it and stop and spot it. How do you feel with that? Feeling one good? Uh, one more. Okay. We'll come over and check it before you. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, I'm saying that that's going to hold that on there. You have to come to the other side and weld this on. 
All right. All right. So I'm going to just let that go for a second. Hoping it doesn't break off. Ah, it shouldn't. All right. So let's come to the other side. Here, this welder up. Get. You want to bring me over the flapper wheel too with the. Okay. You get the other welder going. I'm going to get this side cleaned up. Thank you, sweetheart. I've cleaned it in one spot there, I think. Yeah. Okay, so what has to happen? If I got it ground on which side? Which side have I got it ground on? Which side do you want the pipe on to get it welded? Uh, this side is the clean side. So can you weld that if I put that like that? Which, can you? It's pretty rusty. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you hit the top frame, come down on it. Yeah. Tell me when you can weld her. Can you weld that? Yeah, should do. Okay, I'll get it when you're ready because I'm picking up the engine, sort of. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Tell me where it's good. Got her? Yep. Okay, I want. Yep. Welder. Okay. She ain't weld it yet. Nope. Hey, a second. It's hard to hold. Can you get it? There we go. Put a weld on her. Another one. And last one. Is that a nice one? Got her? I think so. She's looking good. All right, just a second now. I'm going to take a looky poo poo. Yeah. Mm. Take a peek. A little bit more? Yes. Yep. Okay. That might even oh, pop off when you start over here. And then pull it up. And then do it down on the thing. Okay. You okay with it? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Because if not, you just let me know and I'll jump right down and get at her. Start it on top of the frame and run it down on top of that. On top of it. Or yeah. run it up one or the other, whatever works the best. You want the wire speed turned up? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, give me a second. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. That work better? Yeah. That got her? Yep. One more. Just to make sure. Just to make sure, he says. Oh, Jolene's on the ball this morning. That sounded good. Yeah. Let me see that. Take a peek. Please and thank you. Got a few different points on it. Yeah. That Good. should work. Should work. You want to hop in? Let me throw one on it. Okay. Just to make sure. Just to make sure, and I probably don't have to, but I, you know, if it falls, we both can take the blame. <laughs> Better you had a shot sorry. at it too, <laughs> right? Better safe than sorry. Mm. Ain't going on now. Nope. All right. Um, 
I'm thinking that we're we're in there. We're not down where we should be. No, we're not. That's that's kind of a sad thing, really, um, to be honest, because we we don't know. Well, that's that's okay, because we can cut where we're up like this, Aiden. Where we're up like this a little bit. The engine's not in there right. Um, that means we can cut where it's at, and then when we let it down, we have room. Does that make sense? That yeah. makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. Um, if we space. cut it where it's at now, if we cut the tunnel where it's at now, when we let the engine down where it should be, drop in. we should have lots of room to, to do whatever. I'm yeah. going to let the engine down now. I'm going to let the engine down, and hopefully it stays where it is. Let me know if it takes off or breaks or yeah. acts funny. Or do you want to check the other side of the bar? Um, have a double check. <laughs> Yeah, let's throw a little on her. All right. Yeah. I'll help take the blame with you. Huh? I'm not. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay. I've done many yeah. things wrong. <laughs> many. I'm saying that is it? Yeah, right. yeah, it's got it. So, we're a lot further ahead than we was yesterday. We have an engine in it. We have an engine. We have an engine. I'm really gonna let this bad boy down. Just tell me when the stuff come. Actually, I just get up and it's hanging there free by itself now, isn't it? Sure it is. Yeah, it's not hitting the firewall. There you go. Um, let's unhook the engine, this thing. Yep. Get a lid down with it. Where's that? Cool. Cool. Now, what I have to do, I have to back this thing out and do this. Watch it. I'm not, I don't understand sure what, why some of the wheels move and some of them don't, but and there it is. Look at that now, would you? So, we've just decided in the last hour what kind of engine this car, this truck is getting. And we showed you. Go easy, Hultsy. Go easy. Go easy. How far is it going to go down? Are we going to the ground or what? We had um, some lowering put in, for springs put in this a long time ago. Never ever done anything with it, but it has lowering springs in it. Wow. We like it when it sits low. Definitely and we can see by the hinges as I fold them up around you, you, it almost could be like a Honda you can almost fold the hood right up into the window and they get to look at it actually come over and take a look baby how easy it's going to be to work on that's not going to be hard to work on very easy to put an engine in or to work on the firewall we have to take a little nipper out of the backer of this little bit there we have to take a little bit out of the back of that I'm fine with that come on this side you can see right there See right against the firewall, there's a little piece we have to take out where the transmission bolt's on, right there. So we're going to come down around here like that, and come down around there on the other side, and we'll have to build a tunnel for this. But the engine's in there, so we should build the tunnel. But we should, we're, we're leaving the engine in there because I want to build the tunnel while it's there. We don't know what it... What, if we don't put an engine in there and do that, we do not know. And uh, that's why I was thinking we might have got a little ahead of ourselves a little bit, but we did not. We've got a head, period. We, now we've got an engine in it. We've got a firewall that's going to work. Now we have to modify where the tunnel, where the transmission goes through. So we're cooking with gas, and uh, it's high octane. All righty. Um, what we're going to do now is just going to clean up a bit. 
that's good for there. We have this piece. Me and Aiden made this piece last night. Uh, the piece is in the back. I'll get it. Me and Aiden made this piece last night. He cut it out with the plasma cutter. Um, do we know? Is this the side, is it? So wh what happens is when we put this in here, you put your side down in. No, great right down in there like that. Yeah, let's bend mine up and get it down in there. So we got... We got these pieces. This piece goes in like this, and you're not even going to see. Just hold, let, let, let it set like that. Let's sit on top of that thing, maybe. Here, I want to set this up here and see if I can get it to stay. And no, it won't. It, but anyways, it might. As we have that on top there, you barely can see um, the bead roll work that we have done. And you have to also remind yourself. This is not coming out this far. It's only coming as far as here. We're getting some bit cut off, but we have to put a firewall in the top part, and uh, that's where it's going. But we've made that piece side to side. So now we've got to make this piece on the front, and then we know where to cut this off. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a sheet of metal up on some benches, and I'm going to let Aiden use the plasma cutter. Well, can't do that yet, exactly yet. We have to make a couple corner pieces for this, do we not? Because that pattern did not fit. We'll just leave that there for now. Shouldn't follow it, I don't think, should it? It might. Hmm. So we have to get our patterns going again, get this pattern back on, make a few corner pieces, and then we can get that piece made. While he's cutting that piece out, I'm going to try to make some hinges. i got to make some more hinges. What I mean by that, make hinges. I have to cut them off and do the exact same trick I did on this side to make the ones for that side before we put the firewall on. Alrighty. How much time are we? Alrighty, we might as well call it as that. Aiden's going to cut the pattern for the top. The firewall was not a loss. It was a gain because now it works and, and it worked out. We fixed it. We went along. And we actually, he, I think Aiden probably learned a little bit more of them bead rolling yesterday with the way I fixed it and tapped it with a hammer and sanded it and what sandpaper to use and what, what things you can do. Like, like yesterday we were talking about, he asked me, where do you get dollies at? I don't know where you really get dollies at. I guess you can buy them as a kit, but um, you can make them. Uh, you, you can use anything that wants to give you that shape, like we use that round stock bar to put on the round part of that and we flattened it out a little bit remember we used the round bar that we welded across the engine we used that laid it in there and beat it because it had the shape um, a dolly put in behind hit it with a hammer trying to do it a little bit we also took the grinder wheel with the 36 grind grid on it and we sanded it a little bit straightened it out a little bit and you can do that when you're with 18 gauge you get any thinner than that and you start grinding it off <laughs> you really haven't got much so um i was happy that we used 18, 18 gauge there and that's what we use pretty basically all the time, unless we need thicker. And that's that's it. Are we going to give away a hat or a shirt? We're going to give a hat away or a shirt on on uh, comments. We want to thank everybody for the good comments and everything. I have to thank Lincoln over and over and over again because their kindness is yeah, their kindness is huge. Um, when someone says, "Wow, we recognize you. We we want to help you out." I um, mean, the beautiful helmets they've, the beautiful helmets. I mean, we can weld and style on these things, man. I'm thinking we're wearing the bar, the jacket up to the bar. <laughs> Anyways, they've sent us some beautiful stuff, and we have to thank Lincoln very much. It says a lot about the company it does. It really does. It says that they're, they're out there for the people, because that's who I'm for, is the people. I, I really feel like you don't need big equipment to build a car, and, and that's why we do it this way. And if we can do it, you can do it. Yeah, is that right, baby? Mm -hmm. So Aiden's first bead roll job turned out A1. Uh, it's hard. Um, we all, yeah, it's hard. And if you mess up, I, I messed up many times on the bead roller. And I was not expecting a perfect bead roll because I, I don't get a perfect bead roll. But I had my breath held for a Aiden. I had my breath held. Jolene looks amazing today. She's got her Lincoln coat on. She's got her, her safety glasses on. She's got her ponytail. She's not high. She's not playing soccer today. She's got it low today. she got her Chuck Taylors on. Pants are fitting good. What? 740 comments. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, everybody.
keep coming back, keep watching, we'll keep building cars. Aletha Chris? Aletha Chris. Hey, where are you guys? Ear protection, Tom Martin. We got them in our ears. We, we have, um, Aiden has stuffy little things he put in his ears. Jolene has little squishy things he put in her ears. And um, I don't know. I Sometimes I wear mine, sometimes. I apologize. Sometimes I get into the game and uh, the ear protection is forgotten. And when it's needed, I grab it because I know I recognize it's too loud. But you're, you've won a hat or a shirt of your choice. Thank you for the, for the you know what? Thank you for the tip, because safety never takes a break. And I learned that from Sean Doyle. All right, everybody, we got an engine in her. We're going full steam ahead. She's probably going to get a 305 six-pack five-speed. Take me anywhere in the world. Peace out. <laughs>